Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the farm. Today, we are going to get back to harvesting. We got the combine all repaired. It is now late autumn. Uh, my dad is going to actually run the combine for us. We're going to have to run over to my truck, get that up to the co-op so I can pick up the uh, the semi so I can come back down here to be able to unload this because this thing is just about full. So we got a lot to do today. Let's get at it. Let's hop up into the combine. In fact, it's practically full already. So I'm just going to, you know what? I'm going to tell dad, just hold off. Let me get this thing dumped before he even starts. I wasn't going to start it up and warm it up for him, but we're going to get over and uh, get in the truck real quick. So it is coming up on late autumn now, and we have so much crop to get out of the field. We have this field, another field of 88 acres. This field's about 40 some acres. And then we have another 44 acre field. Holy cow. Do we have a lot of, we have a lot of work ahead of us here. We might have to call in some help from one of the neighbors. I don't know if anyone's available today. I may, I, I would imagine everyone's uh, probably busy on their own farms, but if I can find some help here in the next few days, we should be just fine. It's going to be a little rough, though. We're, we, it's going to be cutting it close. We're going to be cutting it really close on harvest this year. Let's go ahead and park this thing right here. Let's say hi to our doggo. What's up, boy? Who's a good boy? Yeah. You're a good boy. Okay. Pet the dog for a second. Now let's get in the truck and get up to the co-op. All right. We're pulling into the co-op now. The classic turn. Right on the other side of the bridge that you can never see because of the grass. <laughs> The grass is really, really tall. It really needs to be mowed, but we got to get the crops out. So the grass is kind of the secondary focus at the moment. Our crop are our primary focus right now. At least that's how things are going to be going. We got the Mac Anthem back, by the way, guys. That's done. That was, uh, Stevio got that thing working for us. We're going to park the truck right here. Go ahead and shut it down. We're going to hop up into the Mac Anthem because I'm going to put the Mac on the, on the, uh, grain trailer. Which I have here somewhere, and uh, we just have to find it. I don't know where, but it's here somewhere. All right, here's the grain trailer, uh, right here actually, already connected up to the Kenworth. So, you know what I think I'll do? I think, here's what we're gonna do. I, um, I think we're gonna ha get another grain trailer and have one for each truck. That's what we're gonna do real quick. So, let me call uh, up somebody real quick and see if they have one for sale. And if so, I'll put it in order for it right now, and we'll go pick it up. All right, I just put in the call. They had one. It was uh, $74,500. So we bought it. We're going to head over there, pick that thing up, and we're going to take that in the Mac. And then we'll also run the Kenworth as well. This way, we have two trucks, two trailers. Uh, that way, if they, we get a call and uh, we are already running one on one person's farm, then we can just use the other truck other trailer for the other person. Or we could double truck and trailer for one farm. Whatever we need. It just gives us more options. Uh, it really just ups our production timeline and, uh, you know, speed and, and productivity. So I think it was a worthy buy. We definitely had the money to afford it, and it, it's not hurting the pocketbook a whole lot. So I think it was a good buy, and we're going to get over there and get it picked up. All right, it's sitting way back here in the mess of things. Their yard is an absolute mess. Holy cow. Really need to clean this up. But we're going to get connected to it. Let's back up. See if we can find it in the mirror. Somewhere. There it is. Let's back right up to it and get that fifth wheel. And then we'll roll on out of here. Whoop. Back this way a little bit. There we go. Perfect. We're running a little bit behind uh, here this year, so we got a lot to get done. It seems to be the way that things go around here. At least... At least on my farm, it tends to be that uh, things are looking good, and then all of a sudden we're playing catch-up like crazy because we're way, way behind. But, nevertheless, let's get at it. All right, we're rolling up to our farm now. We're going to pull in the backside like we usually do. Looks like someone either parked their truck up here or broke down or something. I don't know what the deal is about that, but there's a, there's a something sitting up here. Huh. Interesting. I don't know what that's about, but I guess someone decided that they wanted to uh, just park on the side of the road. I don't know. I was I was happy we didn't have to take that old combine out. Uh, we were able to get this one fixed. I mean, it, it took us a day or so to get it fixed, but we were able to get it fixed. You know, we lost a little bit of productivity, but in the grand scheme of things, I, 
we would have had to like dis detach this header and all kinds of stuff it would have been hassle and i just don't think we would have gotten it done in you know fast enough that where it would have really mattered so we're gonna try landing this bad boy up here i don't know how far out that pipe sticks I think that auger is a short auger on this, so we're going to have to actually get up right up next to this header, if I remember correctly. But I I mean, I could be wrong. We're going to squeeze right over here next to this header, at least. Because I think it is a pretty short uh, auger on that. Look at that. We guessed that. Perfect, actually. We could have got over a little bit farther, even. But that worked out just fine. So that uh, auger is going to unload our hopper here on the combine. We're going to finish off this, this little section in front of us here. Then I'm going to have Dad hop out. He's going to get to work harvesting our soybeans. And then we are going to run off and work on some other stuff and run over here and make sure that he's able to uh, unload and he's not, you know, the trailer's not full or anything while he does that. Move this truck out of our way because the truck is actually in our way right now. Hop up in there, fire it back up because it likes to shut off for some reason. Pull right off over here into the grass. How does that sound? Or not even... You know what? We won't even go into the grass. We'll just pull it right off over here. And now we'll hop up into the combine, clean off this little section right here, and then get Dad lined up ready to go. Let's go forward and we're combining again. It is a long and slow job, that is for sure. But... In the long run, it's going to be worth it. We're going to be making some good money off of our fields here. So we can't really complain, you know? It, it, we're making money. And that's all you can ever ask for. Let's not turn and hit that. There we go. If we can turn this tight enough, we won't be able to. Oh, just barely. Just barely. And what I'm going to do is do a little separation uh, route between the fence here and our soybeans because we planted right up to the fence and i just know dad i mean i just know dad and i feel like he very well could hit that if we're not careful we don't we don't give us ourselves much room there but luckily the fence isn't uh doesn't last too terribly long we're just gonna kind of kind of clear this area out so he has a little bit more room to be turning around and stuff it's just gonna make his life a lot easier. We'll do two swipes, I suppose. That should be plenty of room to turn around, I would think. And then we'll get Dad set off in the combine. And we'll run off, and I think we're going to mow some hay, to be honest with you. I think that might be what we work on today. I think we're going to hop into my mower, my, my uh, John Deere 6R, and my pull-behind New Holland mower, and we're going to mow some hay. While we're harvesting, it is a very strange operation. We're mowing hay and harvesting soybeans at the same time. It's honestly not that often that you get that uh, happening. It has to be a very specific type of year for that to all work out. A lot of times you'll, like, the grass will die off before you ever get to to, uh, to harvesting. But here the last few years, uh, the last couple at least, we've actually had green grass and stuff while harvesting our crop so it, it's been strange for the last couple years it looks like this year is going to be uh, included into that anomaly but that's not a problem to me that allows us to get more hay and we always need more for our cattle we just about finished our swipe here and then we'll turn around and go back the other way i think i'm going to clean off this little bit right here to our left as well and this is our first time using this combine first harvest with it and i gotta tell you I am loving it. It is so much easier to use than that old uh, 1980s combine we were using previously. Same header. We're actually running the same header, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, we didn't have to buy a new one. And uh, we did get a corn header, though. We have a eight-row corn header that we will be running on our 88 acres of corn. And we don't really have a whole lot of crop. It's not like we're a massive farmer. We're decent sized, but it's not like we need the biggest and best machinery. We actually missed a little bit of soybean back there. That's my fault. I misread the width of my header here. But looks like everything is feeding just fine. Uh, might need to... Give me one second. I'm going to actually raise up this reel a little bit. We're digging a little bit too much into the crop there. And I think I'm going to extender out just a tad bit there that's looking 
Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. We want just enough to pull back the tops. We don't want to be pulling back the full plant or anything. We don't want to be the reel going through the hole, you know, all the way down to the bottom or anything. I just want it skimming the top. That's what I'm looking for. And it looks like that's going to be a good height to run right there. Of course, that, that might vary um, in parts of the field or, or uh, in other fields. But for now, I think we got that set just fine. Looks good. Now I will go get Dad and let him know he can. he's good to go. All right, Dad came out, and uh, he's running in the combine now. He decided he wanted to run a specific pass. He's actually, um, yeah, I don't know. Dad's weird. Dad likes to combine strange, but you know what? We'll let him do it. We'll let him, we'll let him have his fun. We'll come down here and check up on him uh, periodically, but for now, we are going to go and run over to the farm and get in the 6R. So... We're going to take a quick jog down there, and we'll see you when we get there. All right, we're showing up to the farm now. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a jog, but you know, honestly, the field's not that big. So we've already got our big tractor uh, hooked up to this uh, header cart, which we don't really need <laughs> that big thing hooked up to it, but it is. And we don't need that tractor for a mower either. We're going to need it for the baler. Actually, the baler can run off of this too. Purrs like a kitten. We're going to pull over here. We haven't used that Kubota very much either. I've used it once, I think. I think I've only used it one time, to be honest with you. But we'll get backed up. Let's not nick that on the door. Perfect. We're going to pick up the mower here. We're just going to start right here, actually. Right up next to our yard. And we're going to unfold this thing and get to go on along our driveway. Let's go ahead and unfold that. And it's going to be facing the wrong way, so I'm going to get it turned around. Now this modded disc pine does have, uh, it, it's a little interesting, to say the least, to get lined up. All right, we got it set to the right side. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Watch that PTL spool up. Looking fine. We already checked all the grease certs on this thing the other day. We're good to go on that. We're going to drop it down and get to mowing. That's working great. We're mowing our hay. We're just going to follow our driveway here for the first bit. We get to mow at 13 miles an hour. So this is going to go fairly fast. This is a big field, but it is going to be very nice to be getting a cut off of this. Really going to help out our cattle operation. Uh, and for the first time ever, can we get an applause? At least, well, you know what? Hold your applause. Hold your applause. It could still rain, I suppose. Technically, it could still rain but it doesn't say it's going to rain in the forecast, at least today. So we have a chance. If it doesn't rain for two days, we can get this bailed, and it'll be like our first cut probably never getting rained on. I think we've always got rained out when we do hay. Can we do it? Can we break the cycle and beat the rain? I, I don't know. I don't think there's rain coming up, but I really haven't checked the forecast. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. We're going to run right along this side, and I'm going to run up right next to the ditch. Getting a little rough there. I know I could be mowing all the way over here to the ditch, but I'm not going to just because it is really rough. And I don't like to drive my equipment through that. I don't like to take the baler through it. It's not a fun ride. It's just hard and everything. So it's fine if we leave a stretch, you know, on our right side there of, of unmowed grass. I'm not going to complain about it. I might actually end up needing to get uh, Austin's assistance <clears throat> getting all this bailed and stuff as well. Might even need his help with my harvest. We'll see. We'll see if he's available. Um, I'll probably give him a call here later after I've made more progress on this field. Just let him know that I'm mowing hay. And uh, once it dries, we're going to want to get it bailed as soon as possible. I'll tell you what, this mower works really, really well. It's just cutting through the hay, no problem. We're not getting plugged up or anything. We will need to rake this, however. That is one thing I uh, forgot to mention. And Austin does have himself a big rake, I think. We have one at, over at the uh, the cattle farm. A very large rake. So that is going to work very nicely for us. I think we're going to do six headlands, like I said earlier. And uh, yeah, honestly, this shouldn't be too bad. I think this is going to be our first successful hay cut hopefully that's how it's looking so far anyways we'll see what happens and we're gonna take this right turn right here or left turn i'm an idiot that was a left <laughs> directions jake you failed adam G gg good job good game you're a failure in life and we're gonna cut right here next to our swimming pool 
That's right, our yard is also a hayfield. Welcome to Iowa, everyone. And we'll just cut along right here. Looking just fine. That rest of that can be mowed with an actual house mower. And we'll cut back along this way and continue mowing hay. Now we just got to follow our uh, previous windrow. Things are going to go pretty easy here. We do have to remember to check up on Dad here in a little bit, though. Make sure that he's looking good. Make sure he's doing fine and uh, doesn't need unloaded or something. I am loving this tractor. I'm so glad we got this picked up in that auction last winter. It And we got it so for such a steal, so below its market value that I couldn't pass it up. I wasn't looking at it. Like, I wasn't looking for a new tractor, but I, I could not pass this deal up. Got it so much below market value, and it works so well. It is just killing it right now. It is the perfect hay tractor, that is for sure. And it's got front loader prep on it, so we could put a front loader on it if we wanted to. This is truly probably one of our best buys we've made on the farm, at least value-wise. Um, another, another one is the combine, but I think we definitely paid more towards market value on the combine. But either way, I'm loving this tractor. It was a great pickup for the farm, and uh, I look forward to using it even more. I haven't used it as much as I would like to, and I think I'm going to start using it more and more regularly now that I've gotten to use it a bit. I'm just, it's working so nice for us, and it's becoming one of my favorite tractors on the farm. But that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. We're mowing hay while uh, Dad is combining away. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to get someone on here to give me a hand. I'll have to give Austin a call, see if he'd be uh, around one of these days to help us out but we're gonna keep mowing hay here that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed until next time i'll see y'all later